Hello everyone, welcome to Undoubt Me. So in this video, we will be discussing basics of hypothesis testing. This is the most bothered topic for many students of AS and A levels and even for other curriculum also, wherever it is there. So we will just discuss a few basic points which you must know if you want to do this chapter. The first one is null hypothesis. Now, null hypothesis is this statement which you assume to be true. Okay, it is the statement given by you which you generally assume to be true or correct. Then comes the alternate hypothesis. This is the statement which shows that if your assumption is wrong, then what should be right? Okay, so H1 is mainly an alternate statement. which tells about a parameter. Parameter means what are we calculating? What are we finding probability for? Tells about the parameter. If your assumption is wrong. Okay, basically in simple words, if your null hypothesis is not true, then what is true? It will be the alternate hypothesis. Okay, then comes the next that hypothesis test can be performed in one tail or two tail form okay so mainly that is written in alternate hypothesis so if h1 is p greater than something or if it is p less than something then in both cases we call that thing as one tail test okay one tail test means we are just analyzing one side of the data okay either greater than or less than but if in case we write alternate hypothesis as p not equal to something which literally mean that p will be either less than or greater than i'm putting it in the blanks because it all depends from question to question so that thing is called as two tail test okay so if you're doing hypothesis testing this is a bare minimum you should know if you want more videos on hypothesis testing with proper explanation then you can definitely put that in the comments. We'll try to make more video as soon as possible. So see you.